FW. It's not so much when you come in, it's just that's his leg. Oh, okay. well, hey, here we go, here's a shock. Jesus Christ. Oh, really? We have David Crow Hold on, <laughs> Hold on, let me get it to grow, Steve. I'm gonna get it to grow, okay? This is so stupid. No, cut away, away, cut away, cut away now. Cut away, okay, cut, away cut away, cut away, cut <laughs> away. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at it, it's huge now. Jeez. <laughs> You seem to have the, the fortune of being able to walk in whenever he's playing with his uh, member every David time you come in. Last time it was Caroline. You hold this, Caroline you'll hammer it. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to play along with him. <laughs> I love how he does, though. He's like, hey, get in there. Whoa! Dude, you ever What's seen he doing? I don't know. Seen on I need a pot pie. Nice. The last time I was here, Caroline Ray was here. And oh, and I jacked the, the yeah, water all yeah, over. Yeah, he jacked the water all over. Right. Yeah. That was funny, actually. She hasn't been back since. No. <laughs> Start for life. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like, hey, we, got we, it, we got have, it. Okay. We have a guest. Thank Why you. do you got to use the, the paper towel tool? Well, I'm yeah. trying to like put and together. Do not like, use, I think no, understands. do not use the prop of the water. I totally, totally. There's no need. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why is he doing this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's what it would have felt like. Oh, my gosh. That's, That's good radio, though. No. I, uh, no, it's not. Wait, oh my David, God. it's it not video good radio. Look, 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 not for nothing. If it's you and Kostaki, I don't care. But this is somebody who's made something of herself. We know. I can't that have this kind of thing. Visual props. I mean, that, wow. Oh my gosh. I Apparently. Think, no, but there's got to be a line where someone who's actually yeah. made a career for themselves, yeah. you don't do that in front That's of them. Exactly Until Kostaki and David not, actually do something, It's we not a question of in front of them. It's on their shoes. That was my concern. That was very oh close. God. Look, yeah, look how was, close. That is, just a well, that is frightening. I wouldn't cross that line. <laughs> massive performance. Wow. We assure you that was just a bottle of water, though. I thought yeah, the biggest I, difference yeah. between men and women is if um, I farted during sex, I would fake my own death. But um, now I feel like we're from a different planet. Now, now. Please welcome to the show, David Crow. <laughs> thank you very much for representing the city in a fine fashion. You know, for, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Actually, originally from Kent, Washington, oh, yeah. where oh, I grew up. Oh, hold on uh, a second. There you go. Go <laughs> T-Birds. Yeah, isn't, sure, that where, is, isn't Kenny Maine from Kent as well? Yeah. Look at yeah. you. The name the of that town is yeah. almost banned by the FCC to say on the You're air. You're absolutely right. right. Mm. <laughs> That's right. If you say it with a British accent, it's actually illegal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very true. Actually, Kent, Washington, originally named it for Kent, England. Did you know that? I didn't know yeah, that. because originally during the Norman invasion of 1066, Kent, England's where William the Conqueror landed with his army yeah. and erected a bunch of warehouses to store all his crap. So there you oh, go. Oh, yep. yeah, look at this. A little historical oh, moment. Oh, Interesting. <laughs> and of course, that reminds me of the Laugh Lovers Ball, ladies and gentlemen, which is happening. <laughs> Perfect, a perfect segue into that. So, uh, February 14th of the Moore Theater. Now, David, you're going to be there. And yes. I would imagine since it's a ball, there may be more people than you. There are. It's my. It's a 16-year tradition. I, I gather my favorite comics around the country and bring them here. So, it's Eddie Gosling and Megan Mooney, who are married to each other. But they're oh, both I get it. A little Valentine's action. Cash man. Levy and, of course, Dan Cummins. He's been on here. Yes, he? yeah. Dan's yeah. Been he just shot a one-hour Comedy Central special in Spokane. Nice. He yeah. was in Spokane? Yeah, at the Bing Theater. So he'll be there too. Oh, That's a, yeah. I didn't know. Oh, Microsoft took over there at that joint, huh? What? The Bing Theater, or is it? Or was it the it's Bing? The Bing Theater? Crosby Theater. Oh, yeah. I thought oh, it was the funny. Microsoft. Yeah. Theater. That's what I thought too. I thought, <laughs> wow. the Bing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, why is that? Why does Spokane have a Bing Crosby Theater? Was he big in Spokane? Bing Crosby is from Spokane. Is he really? Yeah. Yes. Or was he really? He is say. from Spokane. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Why do you think is? he wrote the song White Christmas? I have no idea. Because there's a lot of white people in Spokane. Why would Spokane? Oh okay, is there a lot of cocaine in Spokane as well? Wouldn't you do coke if you lived in Spokane? <laughs> oh okay, well that kind of logic is well. You yeah. know what? You would have been a great torture device yeah. maker, is what uh, that kind of logic. Uh, I surely would have. Hey, I want to try this out before we get too far away from. Go the, ahead, from, son. From the Ten Commandments in Moses. Oh, you got a thing? I got a thing. I wrote this on the ferry the other day. So all here right. we go. So I'm ready for, for the show. Uh, it's uh, you know we all know what the Ten Commandments are, but yes. I came up with this theory that yeah, you know what the commandments are, but there's always a subtext. To anything, right? Like the Ten Commandments tell us what not to do, right? So, what's Moses or what's God telling us to do? What's the what's being implied? Right? Oh, I see what you're saying because see, yeah. you know what? Well, we have to be able to read between the lines. Yeah, not that anyone's ever done that with any sacred texts before. No. But you go right ahead. I'm going to start something. This is going to be a movement. Yeah. Okay, so like here's I, these aren't in order or, or anything, but here's like here's a, thou shalt not covers thy name. 
thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Yeah, I've always wondered about that one. Right. The subtext is, uh, you know, covet thy neighbor's daughter. She's much hotter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I see what you're saying. That's what saying. Yeah, that's what weird. you're saying oh. is, is that, okay, God is helping us out by going, don't right. do this. But he's also saying, but you really should be doing yeah, this. Yeah, you got the whole yeah. be fruitful and multiply thing. That's, you know, yeah, you the, I like this. Were, go yeah, they, the, they were a lot more tolerable about, you know, people that weren't 18 back in the day. Right. You know, they so. lived to be 24. Yeah. All right, here, here's another one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt not bear fault, false witness. Yes, uh, that's a, that, we don't hear about that one so much. Right. That's your lawyer's job. Hire a lawyer. That's right. Perfect. Bear fault witness for you. Preferably a Jewish lawyer, since it was Moses delivering this. You know, he's going to support the tribe. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Does anyone still use that term, bear false witness? I don't think so. No. no. But, you know, it is funny, some of those commandments. Like, we know the big ones, like, don't covet thy right. neighbor's wife, don't kill. Then there's some of them where you go, well, you know, it's like, okay, God had some really good ideas, or was Moses tripping and misinterpreted some of those latter commandments? Well, the first four are like, only worship me. I'm the only one. Don't look at anybody else, you know. Yeah, you're right. There's a, yeah. do <laughs> not, and bitchy. Do not look at the blue god from <laughs> right, India. Right. He doesn't know anything. I don't want any pictures. Just look at me. Me. No idols. Okay, here's another one. Um, thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. Oh, that's another big one. Have a threesome. Invite the wife. There's no reason to leave her out. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. You're right. It's not Good. adultery if everybody's on board. You're right. Oh, see, you know what? I love the fact that, you know, you are helping explain what God has meant after all these years. Okay, that's all I got. Sir. That's all you got? Uh, well, you know what? There's more, but I'm not going to continue. This. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.